Algebra 1, Common Core, Unit 5, Section 2, Evaluating Functions. All right, so here in 5.2, uh, we're learning now about a, a couple of extensions from 5.1. From 5.1, we learned about the domain and the range and to determine if something was a function and so on. Well, now we're being told that we do have functions, but we have a certain function notation that we need to be aware of, and that is the f of x notation. Um, and if you look at this, so it says helpful to think of functions as a rule, machine, where you have an input, which is your domain, your x value, over here, and an output, which is your range, your y value. You know, similar to an equation where I plug in an x value of 5 in this example. You know, 2 times 5 is 10, minus 3 is 7. So I plug in a 5 and I get a 7. So we'd end up with 5, 7. Well, in function notation, instead of having a y equals in the front of our equations, we have a f of x, and it's pronounced that f of x, you know, f parentheses x, but we call it f of x. And that's just basically the notation symbol we're going to use for f of x. It is the same thing as y equals. So for this example of y equals 2x minus 3, well, we can do f of x equals 2x minus 3. And the reason why we change up the notation is because now we can think of this as the, your input. That f of x, you could think of as f of input because x is your domain, x is your input. And so instead of you know, 2x minus 3, you could think of it as 2 times your input minus 3 because, again, x is input. So again, this is really just kind of using this right here that f of x is f of input, and 2x, 2 times x is 2 times your input minus 3. So whatever I put in, it goes in there. So that's why we can see f of x equals 2x minus 3 is your function, and then the question could say, evaluate f of 4. f of 4. Notice what changed, that no longer x is in parentheses, 4 is in parentheses. So for that, if 4 is in parentheses, that means I replace all my x's in the equation with 4's. So it's 2 times 4 minus 3. And 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3 equals 5, so on. So it's just, you know, basically it's a way of representing that, all right, what I plug in, I plug it in for x. Now it doesn't have to be f of x. It could be f of x, g of x, g of x, h of x, r of x, q of x, whatever letter we want to use. Uh, let me show you a couple of examples. Now, um, I'm going to skip this little note section and come back to that when I get to part C. So, for the function f of x equals x squared minus 2x. Again, that just simply means y equals x squared minus 2x. So, if you want to type into your calculator and, and, and kind of look up some things that way, you certainly can. And I'm going to show you that in class, too, that what we could do is we can we could type this into our calculator. and. You know, when I want to plug in a 5, that means I want to look in my table for the x value of 5. What's the y value that goes with it? But here it says algebraically evaluate. So even if I did have my calculator tool on me right here, I still need to show all the algebra. So let's, let's try to do this without our calculator first. So f of x equals x squared minus 2x. And so I want to evaluate each of these. And so what this really means, a5, that means I want to evaluate, evaluate um, f of 5 and f of negative 6, and f of x minus 3. And what we're saying here is we want to plug in. I want to plug in a 5. I want to plug that input in for x, and that's for all of the x's. So again, the, the f of x notation, so like this f of x equals x squared minus 2x, is very helpful to think of it as an f of input. So instead of x, write the word input. So f of input equals, now here I have x squared, and so that means input squared minus 2x becomes minus 2 times your input. And so again, this here's your f of x equals x squared minus 2x. I'm simply replacing these x's with inputs. Because what we're saying here is f of 5, I'm going to plug 5 in for, for both these spots. So f of 5, the way we do f of 5 is that's going to be 5 squared minus 2 times 5. 
And again, what we're doing is I'm just instead of x squared, it's it's five squared. And instead of negative two times x, it's negative two times five. I'm replacing I'm replacing my x here with five. So that means I got to replace all of the x's with fives. And then evaluate. And so what is five squared is 25, and negative two times five is negative 10, and 25 minus 10 is 15. So when I plug in a five, I get out a 15. You do, uh, how about f of negative six? Okay, so I'm gonna plug in a negative six, in for this. And the rule for this function, you'll hear me use that language a lot in class. You know, the rule for f is whatever I plug in, I'm gonna square it, and I'm gonna subtract two times it. So I'm plugging in negative six. So f of negative six, move down a little bit so I can save some space over here, is the rule is I, whatever, you know, what, what are you doing with the x's? I'm squaring the x. So I'm squaring my input and negative two times what you plug in. So negative two times negative six. Negative six squared is positive 36. Remember the whole negative squared is positive because of a negative times a negative is positive. And a negative two times negative six is positive 12. So that comes out to be 48. So we plugged in a negative six and we got out of 48. So negative six is in our domain. Range is in, uh, 48 is in our range, excuse me. And then for the, for the last example here, C, notice here I'm just plugging in a number, plugging in a number. Well, here I'm plugging in an expression. And so that's a little bit more advanced, and that was this box of notes that I skipped here. So another nice feature of the f of x of notation is that expressions can be inputted into the function. For example, we could do f of x plus 5. So you could plug in a whole thing. And remember, it's all about x is replaced by whatever I plug in. Here x was replaced with 5. Your x, the, all the x's were replaced with five. All the x's were replaced with negative six. Well, in this example, all of the x's, which in, in this example up here, there's only one of them, is replaced with x plus five. So notice that it's, it, it's no longer two x, it's two parentheses x plus five. The x that was here is replaced by x plus five. And then again, we can value, we can distribute, and, and we end up, when we plug in an expression, we get an expression. When we plug in a number, we get a number. You know, the, the mistake that sometimes people make, I'll go back to this here, for the, you know, let me just write my function again, f of x is x squared minus 2x. Oh, sorry, that came out a little sloppy. Let me rewrite that. f of x is, I don't know, it's not writing well right now, x squared minus 2x. Sorry, I think uh, my batteries are running a little low. I have to charge. Um, so I'm going to replace the x's just like I did here. I replaced them with fives. I replaced them with negative sixes. Well, here I'm going to replace these x's with x minus three. Sometimes people think like they leave that x there and just put x minus three next to it. Remember, these x's are going to be replaced with whatever's plugged in, whether it's a number or an expression. So this is going to be x minus three squared because whatever we plug in, we squared it and then minus two times whatever we plug in. Now x minus three squared, remember a binomial squared, that's x minus three times x minus three. Minus two times x minus three. When something is squared, it means times itself. The common mistake there is people just square this to be x squared and nine. Well, times itself, it's a polynomial times itself, you gotta do distribution. X times X is X squared. X times negative three, negative three X. Got to distribute the X to both of those. Now I got to distribute this negative three times X and negative three times itself is positive nine. Combine some like terms, we get X squared minus six X plus nine. Here I could distribute to get a minus two X and a plus six. Combine some like terms for a final answer. Got like terms here, 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 here. We're gonna end up with x squared minus 8x plus 15. And that's my final input. That's my final output. Uh, and if you want to write as a coordinate, usually we save that just for when it's numbers, but we plugged in an x minus three, we got out an x squared minus 8x plus 15. So it's a little takes a little getting used to the f of x notation, but it's really not bad. It's just a nice way of representing when I plug something in. I plug it in for the x's. I replace the x's with that input, and that's what we get out. All right, that's it for 5.2, evaluating functions. See ya.